in a land where the clouds make good places to sleep, live a gaggle of kids who don't want to count sheep. It's a world with no parents to keep them in bed. So these children are up past their bedtimes instead. Here in Dreamland, this is the After Bedtime Show. Well, kids, I think it's a little past your bedtime. No! You know what that means. It's time for... The After, after Bedtime Show! Yay! My name's Babysitter Jake. And I'm Babysitter Kitty. We've invited these three very special guests to join us here in Dreamland and star on our show. Now, we require only one thing from all of you, and that is that you must share your name and a special fact about you to enter our world. Start with you, buddy. Hi, my name's Jake, and I love dinosaurs. Hi, my name's Taya, and I've never been on a plane before. Hi, my name is Holly. I like crocodiles. Awesome. All right, Harley, Taya and Jake, I think you've all proved your worth. Let's get on with the show. <laughs> all right, folks, let's jump right into your talking news to me. <laughs> Where you kids get to sleuth out the truth behind these stories. You have to choose which story sounds more realistic. One will be real and one will be fake. I want you to indicate with your paddle which headline you think is right. Let's jump right into our first round. Which of these is real? A fish with human teeth caught uh, in the USA, or B, Minions The Rise of Gru delayed due to a fight between Stu and Kevin? What are you thinking? A. I think I, that a. I think A because of the, um, the fish have teeth, but it's kind of like mm, no teeth. I think B. Just on him. I think A. Thinking A, I think B. Ooh. A is correct. A fish with human teeth teeth was caught. I mean, do you think you could talk as well, Jake? Oh, I'd definitely love to have a conversation with it. It certainly add an extra bite to your fish fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, uh, two more headlines coming at you, kids. Disney Plus making a new show with Fortnite streamer Ninja teaching uh, kids Fortnite dances. Or B, real life Patrick and SpongeBob discovered at the bottom of the ocean. What are we thinking? What do you think? B. Solid B from Harley. I think B because um, sponge uh, pineapples are real and maybe SpongeBob is. Ooh, okay. So you reckon SpongeBob and. That's some good reasoning. Oh, you're going Against Ninja? the grain? It was B, guys. Real life SpongeBob and Patrick found at the bottom of the ocean. You got it. Sponge B and Patty Stars are homies in real life. I love it when mm. life imitates art. Though I will say, in real life, uh, sea stars do eat sea sponges, so SpongeBob should sleep with one eye open. <laughs> okay, here's our last set of headlines, and these ones are real doozies, so pay attention, guys. A. Explosive diarrhea causes the Wiggles to pause production. <laughs> or B. Hit show Bluey to make a spin off show, Purpley, starring a purple rock crab. Which one do we think, guys? Explosive diarrhea um... or Purpley? Purpley the little purple rock crab. Oh, I can purple crab. <laughs> purple crab? No, I feel like Ooh. it's A because it's been B this whole time. A's across the board. That's correct. That is correct. Talk about <laughs> wet and wild, am I right, folks? Poo poo. Let's <laughs> discuss that ever again. Well, that's the stinky ending of your talk and news to me. We'll be right back after this very short break. <laughs>
Okay, kids, I'm off. Behave yourselves. Yes, mom. <gasps> hey, give that back. How about you come get it? And it's the newest smartphone and some amazing footwork there. As it breaks through that forward line, absolutely phenomenal run as the crowd goes wild here. This is looking dangerous, very dangerous indeed, as it threads past the defence and it's a, it's a go. Ugh. Your phone's not a footy, put a case on it. Welcome back to the After Bedtime Show. I hope you kids have your artistic hats on because you're going to need them. We are going to keep you guys in a guessing frame of mind with nice drawing. In this challenge, there will be two rounds for all of you kids to work as a team to guess mine and Kitty's drawings. Whoever out of me or Kitty gets the most correct guesses at the end of the game wins. Ready to rock? Yeah. Alrighty. Excellent. Kitty, choose your card. Alrighty. Everyone ready? Yes. yes. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm perfectly ready. All right. Three, two, one, let's go. Uh, um, oven. Oven. Uh, laundry. Uh, laundry. Uh, uh, washing machine. Yes. Well done. Nice job, team. It was a washing machine, surprisingly enough. All right, one point to me. Jake, you're up. All right, Jake, pick your card. You ready? Got it. Ready? Three, two, one, draw. Um, a shoe? A, a car. A bridge. Car. Who said That's car? It. Well Me. done. That's points. That's one point to Jake. <laughs> all right, one all. All righty, let's see what you got. Oh, yeah. You ready? Ready to rock? Uh-huh. Let's see what you got. <gasps> a spoon. I can't see it. Uh, a jar. A spoon? Fork. A micro um, microphone. Fork. Yes! Oh. <coughs> well done. Pretty good. <laughs> Two to one. Reckon right. you can even it up, Jake? Let's see what I can do. All right. All right, you ready to draw? Got it. Three, two, one, go. A chair. Handbag. That's it, well done. Easily. Well, that's two all. Well, it's looking like a bit of a tie. You kids are the real winners of this challenge. Kitty, I think we need to up our drawing skills for next time. I think you're definitely right, Jake. We'll be right back with the next segment after this quick break. First one in. Last one in. Leaving it all on the mats. You're constantly improving. Your fight where should too. Where to next? <laughs> Welcome back to the After Bedtime Show. It's time for our final segment of the night. Drum roll, please. 
That's right, it's time where you ask the little people the big questions. <laughs> Let's go straight to the audience with our first question. Hi, my name's Millie and my question is, why do you think we dream? Hmm, great question, why do you think we dream? Hmm, that's a tough one. How about we start with you, Jake? Why do you think we dream? Because we have a superpower that when we sleep, we dream. Ooh, so you think it's like a superpower? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Interesting yeah. answer. Yeah. I personally think it's those pesky little aliens trying to communicate with us. <laughs> what do you think, Taya? I think it's so you can get your energy and it builds up your imagination. Ooh. That's a great answer, actually. Yeah, that, yeah, building up your imagination. I feel like it has something to do with fairies, personally. Like, fairies sprinkle special dust on us when we're sleeping and it makes us dream. What about you, Harley? Why do you think we dream? To get our... memories? Ooh, to get our memories. Yeah, you're onto something there. Super, super interesting questions from all of you guys there. Now back to the audience for our second question. Hi, my name is Nevea, and my question is, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Anywhere in the world, eh? There are so many options. Where would you go, Taya? Um, I would go to Disney World. <laughs> yes, oh, Disney World would be super cool. I think I would go to the Leaning Tower of Pisa, because it's crooked, and I would like to straighten it. What about you, Jake? Where do you think you would go? I would go to America. America. That would be hectic. I think I'd personally go to Italy and ride around in my little Vespa around the Italian countryside. <laughs> what about you, Holly? What are you thinking? Um, I would actually go to Australia Zoo. Australia Zoo, yeah. See all the animals, see the crocodiles. Yeah. Excellent choice. <laughs> all those places are super cool. Uh, I'd love to go everywhere if I could. Some totally awesome answers from all of you there. Well, that's all we have time for here in Dreamland on the After Bedtime Show. I hope you've all had just as much fun as we have. Our question for you all at home is, what makes you laugh the most? And that's all the time we have for our show tonight. It's been wonderful to have you here in Dreamland to play some fun and challenging games. <sighs> well, I can see a couple of yawns out there. Is it finally time for bed? I think so, Jake. Sleep is calling. Yellow. Oh, it's your parents. Everyone get to bed. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.